Hey everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision and our softball team coming off of a terrific week last week, winning two games over top 25 opponents. First time they've done that in many, many years. And joining us is their head coach, Stephanie Decker, and we have a little buddy joining us here, her son, Brady. And Steph, last week, a great week. Obviously, a split against Saginaw, who's 24, in the middle of a snowstorm, which was a lot of fun. Um, and then you go down to southern Indiana, and, and you get one of two down there against a very talented team that's ranked and you know ranked nationally but also in the preseason poll was very high in the GLVC yes it was a great week for us um, especially just kind of jumping us into co uh, conference play um, you know Saginaw it was tough games uh, and had kids kind of coming in and out of class um, so that's always interesting you know working on the lineup with that um, but played some great games against them saw some good pitching with them as well um, you know faced good hitters it was a good chance challenge for us to get us ready for Southern Indy. Um, and then, like you said, the snowstorm. Um, <laughs> never gotten snowed out of the seventh inning, so that was very fun. Uh, and then went down to Southern Indy and played some good ball and, again, faced good pitching, good hitters. Um, you know, we, we were excited to get them first in conference play and, you know, kind of see where we're at and where we're ready to go. And I preached to the girls that, you know, they don't need to be peaking in – February and March and so now it's kind of the time to get rolling and um, it was good to start out with a split against Southern Indy. And, and you know the, the thing was you, you know with Alyssa and with uh, Sheridan you kind of got split weeks from them you know on Tuesday night Alyssa pitched a terrific game in game number two. Sharon struggled a little bit, but then you flip the coin on Saturday. The roles were kind of reversed. And that's what people are going to see when they get us this year is those two coming right at you. And the way they're pitching right now, I don't think there's a lot of teams that are going to be able to beat the, beat us. I'm really excited to have two aces. Um, you know, it's uh, it's a great feeling coming into a doubleheader of a game, knowing that we've got two strong pitchers, and then we've got some in the bullpen coming out that um, are working through some things and are definitely going to help us um, when we need it. But uh, Cher and Alyssa really complement each other very nicely too. So it's you know not the same thing in two games. So we're kind of throwing different things at teams over doubleheaders. One of the persons that really stands out over the last week is Hannah Tolley. She was our Saint of the Week this week, and it's really neat to see some of the younger kids really meshing and doing some great things for you, especially in the non-conference year. You're kind of mixing and mashing a little bit of the lineups. Yeah, um, with a lot of new starters um, or consistent starters this year, uh, with them it's just talking about there's no expectations. Um, just go out and what do what you've done and, you know, what got you to Maryville and, you know, just let it all out on the field now. And we've talked about all the hard work in the fall, and now's the time to let it pay off. Um, so, yes, yeah, she had a great week, and I think it was all about just kind of getting her some confidence and relaxing at the plate. This week you were supposed to play Trevecca on Monday. Obviously, rain down in Nashville kind of put a damper on that. So you guys are going to head down. You'll play Trevecca, also play CBU in Memphis tomorrow. But then a tough, tough matchup on Saturday up at Lindenwood. Lewis comes to town in Parkside on Sunday back here at Weber Field. But it doesn't get any easier in the conference play. These two games tomorrow really help us get ready for the weekend. Yeah, that's why we tried so hard to get some games scheduled to keep us ready to go. And over spring break, you know, didn't want to have too many days off. And, you know, we, we've talked to the girls that our conference is going to be dog eat dog. So we cannot expect to roll over or be rolled over by anybody. We've got to play our best and put it up against their best every day of every conference game. No doubt about it. Well, good luck this week down in Memphis, and we'll see you this weekend. Thanks, Jim. Stephanie Decker joins us. Once again, the teams will play Christian Brothers University on Wednesday at noon and then play Trevecca Nazarene at 4 o'clock. And then Saturday, just a schedule note, they'll be at home, but it'll be up at Lindenwood starting at noon and 2 against Lewis. And then Sunday they return back here to Weber Field for Parkside at noon and 2. We'll have the games. We'll have live stats for all the games. They'll have video for you tomorrow as well down at CBU. We'll have those links posted on our website at MaryvilleSaints.com. For Coach and for the little guy, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.